begin with the news about former talk show host Wendy Williams, 59 years old, television star by any definition. She revealed yesterday that she's been diagnosed with a form of dementia and aphasia, fronto Temporal dementia is what it's called, also known as FTD. It's caused by a loss of nerve cells in the brain, and it can lead to behavior changes and reduced motor function. Williams also has the associated disease aphasia, which affects her ability to communicate. Actor Bruce Willis, you may recall, suffers from the very same neurological diseases. The news comes just before tomorrow night's premiere of a Lifetime documentary on Williams' life, after hosting talk shows. Here's a peek of that. Even if they don't know the Wendy Williams show, everybody instantly falls in love with me. That's boss. That's boss. Boss Wendy. She is boss lady. Yes. I don't know what wealthy is. I don't want to be wealthy. All I wanted to do was be famous. Dr. Gayatri Devi is a clinical professor of neurology at Northwell Health who specializes in dementia, and she joins us now. Doctor, thank you very much for being here. Uh, so this diagnosis, what is it and how does it affect patients? Frontotemporal dementia is when you have loss of nerve cells in the brain that causes cognitive issues, much like other types of dementias, including Alzheimer's, Lewy body, but frontotemporal is a type of dementia. The biggest a problem with frontotemporal dementia is it can be hard to diagnose. Mm. Oftentimes, patients can just pre present with behavioral problems, their personality can change, mm. uh, but as opposed to something like Alzheimer's, there's no clear test to definitively make the diagnosis. Well, that's scary. You know, I had never heard of it until we heard it about Bruce Willis. So how common is it, and is there an age range? Because Wendy's still very young, 59? Yes, yeah. How common is this? It's uncommon amongst the dementias. Alzheimer's is the most common. Vascular dementia is the second most common. Frontotemporal is a small portion of patients with dementia, and it usually affects younger individuals, people mm -hmm. in their 50s uh, and 60s, as opposed to Alzheimer's, which affects older individuals. Does it physically affect you? We see Wendy's eyes are bulged, but I think that's from something else, right? It doesn't cause... It shouldn't. I mean, frontotemporal dementia usually doesn't cause physical symptoms early on. Mm -hmm. Eye bulging and things like that shouldn't be a part yeah, of it. It's been reported that she suffers from Graves' disease. Oh, that could very that well could be cause. it. This is yeah. an important conversation. Yes, because it is. Because whether you're dealing with it personally or through six degrees of separation, yeah. we all know someone. And that leads me to this question. When you hear about it happening in your family, should you be concerned? You know, are these diseases, is dementia something that runs in families or passed down um, mm. through hereditary genes? So there is some genetics to all dementias, but genetics is not your destiny. Huh. Even in a condition like Alzheimer's, you can have a pair of identical twins and one twin gets it and the other may wow. not get it for up to 17 years. Mm. Wow. So just to let you know that it scares everyone, yes. but a genetics is one part of it, but there's a whole okay. another bunch of things you can do to prevent mm. dementia. Really? It's treated how? Uh, frontotemporal dementia doesn't have any specific treatment, mm. um, but you treat the behavioral problems that often go along with it. Oof. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I want to ask you in the commercial break yeah. what we can do to prevent this because I think yeah, young absolutely. people are all concerned about it. De I definitely am. And we are oh, pulling boy. for Wendy yeah, because the video is very disturbing. Just wanted and to I guess alive. tune in. I, it, it's, it's hard to know whether she can make this decision to tune in, but uh, her family is going forward with the documentary. Yeah. yeah. That's a whole nother conversation. Mm -hmm. Just want her to be all right. Thank you, Dr. Debbie. Thank you. Glad you came to, to our table this morning. Thanks.